Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. You may be wondering why I'm not in Kerbal Space Program 2, and that is because I've had yet another terrible idea. If you've seen my last video, a couple months ago I think at this point, where I had ChatGPT build us a rocket in Kerbal Space Program 2, I thought, why not see if Google Bard is capable of the same thing? And does it do better? Does it do worse? We're going to find out. So let's start this off here. Uh, hello. Today, I would like you to design a rocket in Kerbal Space Program 2 that is capable of reaching orbit. OK. Now, importantly, we want to specify, we want to make sure that this thing is going to give us actual parts, actual like constraints, and not just vague, like, you should do this. So let's see. Uh, this capable of reaching orbit. So we'll say, please specify exact parts and uh, designs to use. Uh, let's see what Bard comes up with. <clears throat> oh, oh wow. <laughs> Look at that. It actually like made a design. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm still getting used to my new uh my new webcam. Hi guys. I got a brand new webcam. Uh I I was using for the longest time I was using an old PSI camera and that thing was like a potato, but my new webcam is here, so I got to remember to look here. Uh but anyway, so we have our, in stage one, we have the command pod, a heat shield, an FLT-400 fuel tank, an LV-909. Stage two. Okay, and it gives us a, okay, and it gives us a flight plan. Awesome. Uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. Uh, is this your final design? I think it would work. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Use a, uh, okay. Okay, sure. So Google Bard has actually given us what seems to be like a pretty solid design here. Um, so we're gonna hop into Kerbal Space Program 2. We're gonna try this out and see if Google Bard is worth its weight in jet fuel or rocket fuel, I guess. <laughs> okay guys, so here we are in the VAB. We're gonna follow, um, not ChatGPT, Google Bard's design uh, to the letter and we're gonna see if this thing works. If it does a good job, I am gonna give Google Bard a harder task to see just how far does this knowledge of rockets go? Because if you remember from the ChatGPT video, we had, uh, some some pretty good success with ChatGPT, and I want to see if Bard is actually better or or worse. So we'll start with just the command pod. Let me pull up the uh, the thing here. There we go. Okay. So command pod heat shield. Even though we, there is no heating yet, as soon as there's heating, I am done for. Half of my designs are just like super fast. Uh, would totally burn up in the atmosphere. Let's see, so let's do a small, yeah, perfect, okay. Nice, uh, and then an FLT-400, FLT-400, so that's this one, nice. An LV-909 liquid fuel engine. Now, they might not have that, nope, they do. The Terrier, interesting choice, interesting choice, Google Bard. Stage two, FLT-800 fuel tank, okay. Since it did say stage, I am gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and add a decoupler. Uh, FLT-800, let's see, it's this one. And then an LVT-30. Oh, is that in the game? Yes, T-30, oh, the Reliant. Very interesting. So. Also, let's let's check. It made an assertion here. The rocket has a total of 3,300 liquid fuel units. Um, so if we go to the engineer's report, to be truthful, guys, I don't actually know where to find this. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. It also just says units, not tons, so I'm going to just ignore that. Uh, it says the first stage is responsible for getting the rocket onto the launch bed into a high enough altitude. The second stage then fires to circularize the orbit. So let's try it. Also, I would like to note, no parachute. So Google Bard is inherently more dangerous that is capable of reaching orbit. Uh, so let's just try this. Let's try it out. I gotta say I have my doubts, but we shall see. I gotta get every time I forget to turn off the tutorial. Let's go! Okay. See if I can remember my proper rocket flight path. Also, developers, if you're listening, thank you for my frames. I'm very grateful to have more than a few frames now. This is awesome. Let's, uh, let's pitch to 45 here, but not overdo it. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Okay, and beautiful. A little further. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ah, nice. I gotta figure out, I gotta quick save. Okay, let's decouple here. Okay, so far so good. I am going to just chill with the propellant now. Look at our path here. So we need apoapsis above 70,000. Okay, perfect, it is. So I'm going to kill the engine. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. So, uh, once we get to the apoapsis, we follow the flight plan that we were given and we circularize, which means we fire basically this way. Retrograde? Might be getting the terminology wrong. Oh no, not this way. We fire this way. Sorry. Forgive me, fellow space nerds. I have forgotten how to fly a rocket. Okay, so now we just get to apoapsis. I forget how to quick save, but I'm just gonna save save. Okay. Alright. 4X. Okay, Jebediah. And stop. Okay. And let's fire the engines now so we want to watch our orbit here we're circularizing we're circularizing still circularizing <laughs> okay so the terrier is a wee bit weak, but it looks like we're getting a better path here. Hopefully this is not pilot error, I don't think it is. Um, we are also descending, which is a bit of a problem. Um, Okay, so if we can properly circularize here, let's speed things up. Then we will be okay, but it looks like, okay. Uh, so let's, <laughs> let's kill the engines for a second. I don't know that this is a stable orbit because it looks like we sweep pretty close to the planet here get our periapsis but it is an orbit also I would like to note that in the game's current state if I EVA Jeb right now and I just had him like I just had him vibe the whole way down to the surface of the planet he'd be fine he, he would survive because there's no heating and there's no fall damage so we would be fine we're gonna call that a success that's pretty good uh, let's just see for fun if we can de-orbit. 
So let's turn her around to be retrograde. Yeah, retrograde. And then watch our map and burn. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Oh, oh, Jeb, you weren't supposed to let go yet. Uh, do you not have a jetpack? What? Oh, he is, he's on the ladder. Look at him. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> the ship is over there, buddy. Oh, goodbye. Is this even Jeb? I don't even know. Jetpack. Why can't, how do I turn your jetpack on? Ah, Jeb. Okay, I guess. Oh, here we go. Jetpack. Nice. Uh, so. Okay, we appear to be descending. H how you doing there, buddy? You look a little frightened. Uh, let's let's just let's just time. Okay. Oh, oh my God! Imagine, imagine how frightening this would be. Just you alone in space, just floating gradually towards the surface. <laughs> You're a brave fella, Kerbal. You're a brave guy. Oh, I love how they like added all this texturing to the skin. The Kerbal model is so detailed. Okay, and we're falling. Um, yeah, let's disable jetpack for now. Whew. Okay, okay, buddy. We're getting close to the sea here. You guys can probably hear my jet engine computer spinning up in the background. He's not even falling that fast. 80 meters per second, that's nothing. That's nothing, Kerbal. Notice how he has passed through the atmosphere intact. He is unburned. So now if I turn the jetpack on. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> he died. 